Convicted of manslaughter, defendant Samson Shepesi took the prosecutor's plea deal but made a request to Superior Court Judge Vernon Perez during sentencing Friday. I would like to plead to the court if you would just look at the minimum punishment for what has been done. Please, uh, excuse me. That's all Shepesi said with the assistance of a Chuki's interpreter before learning his fate. Shepesi gets 12 years and 6 months for this deadly drug and alcohol fueled attack caught on camera outside the Dededo Center in August 2022. Judge Perez is using this evidence to help determine sentencing. If the video would demonstrate that in fact Mr. Shepesi attacked the victim with a spear after acquiring it from another defendant to use that spear to assault Mr. Aiken. That, of course, is demonstrating his culpability. Investigators learned Shapasi and even the victim had alcohol and drugs in their system the night of the fight. But it would seem that his being under the influence has ultimately uh, caused him to be uh, in this much trouble. The court noting Shapasi repeatedly stabbed Aiken with a spear telling the defendant he was most responsible for the injury that led to Aiken's death. Also arrested for their alleged involvement in the attack were defendants Allison Joe, Daryl Itzy, Elson Joe, and Cyrus Mathias. Defense attorney Terrence Timblin requested Shapasi serve less time, contending Shapasi is being singled out and arguing it appears the others won't be facing any jail time. It was said in court Shapasi will not be paying any restitution to Aiken's family, though he will spend the next 12 and a half years locked up. Still, the killing left Aiken's three young girls forever without their father.